Oh, okay, so I found the benefit of, uh, of Launch Fist is to turn around and fire backwards. So that it has a shorter distance to return. <laughs> you know, that's... Uh, okay, so for as silly and as uh, difficult as this game is from... And by difficult, I mean just it has some annoying features that make it difficult. Nothing in this is particularly challenging in a, oh man, this is hard to figure out what I need to do kind of sense. It's uh, the, the difficulty appears to be in pattern recognition type difficulty. But like yeah. for all of that, there is something endearing about it. And I don't know if that's like my nostalgia goggles are kicking in or or what. Huh. Huh? So I'm I'm looking at other reviews here and Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm looking actually looking at the sources of the uh, Wikipedia article. This is okay. how research is done. Let me look through the actual sources here. And um, there are uh, Well, in this case, uh, the... Huh. This particular article was... Perhaps written about something else. Nah. It was, this was apparently reviewed by Nintendo Power, and it was not that good. Um, so Nintendo Power didn't give it that good of a review? Well... So the Wikipedia article states, Dino Wars, Destruction of Spondylus, received mostly negative reviews, and it, it sources a grand total of two reviews. Um... The, excuse me. The there's, there's a review from One Up and a review on uh, all places something awful. But the the One Up review is uh, actually talks about someone who used to play this as a kid. So let me try and pick my way through this. This, this reviewer does say, you know, I got to play this at, at my piano teacher's house a time or two while my sister had her lesson. We used to play one of the video games that she swung to her son. Incidentally, this is how I became acquainted with Shining Force, Diablo, and Mr. Snakers, among other things. So this is clearly somebody in Britain. Um, granted, there was always so much gaming I could do in 30 minutes. Granted, it's been about 30 minutes I started playing this and I think we've seen all of the different varieties that this game is going to offer us oh. also that one platform in the middle that's going to fall out from under you so oh yeah definitely I, I tried to I tried to be sneaky and do one of those oh damn it and uh and it doesn't work just just you know so you know okay so I think if I had started with um this guy's uh oh, oh. It's because it's a platform of deception, man. <sighs> so evil. Anyway. But um, if you'd started with something awful... Trans, the way that the, the gameplay... Um, progresses like this. Uh, oh. 
the game begins with a short segment in man mode. You control a little guy with a three-way gun and make your way across a few screens to your Robosaur. You hop in and go into dino mode, which you control the Dark Robosaur itself, killing other Robosaurs along the way. After passing through three distinct sections of the planet, you fight a boss Robosaur, grab a key, go back into man mode. You then cross several more screens with the three-way gun guy and fight a stationary boss pirate that shoots things at you. Blow it up and retrace your steps back to your dinosaur. Hop in the portal in front of you to exit the planet. I think that's a more apt description because at no point is this game telling us, yes, this guy has a name and the dinosaur also has a name. And fuck that jump, holy shit. Yeah, that's a. That's why I was trying to bypass it, but apparently his jump isn't quite far enough. I need. I need this guy to. There we go. Because uh, one, having power-ups fall through platforms is a great way to show you that hey, there's a there's a shitty platform here, but it's also a shitty way to do it. <laughs> when, yeah. Uh, power-ups drop so infrequently. Also, we haven't seen a a second uh, gun upgrade drop since stage three. Yeah, I've noticed that. And the reviewer noticed that too. And he also complains about the fact that uh, the, the, the key capsule that upgrades uh, gun guy's gun... Hey! Well, hey, you did it! Um... Um, they're, they're incredibly rare, and he also complains that the dino power-ups don't leave the screen until you collect them or just walk away, which means it's incredibly easy to accidentally pick up a, a weapon you don't want. Which we have, we have as, as we keep finding, yeah, you, we keep getting uh, weapon upgrades we don't want. Wow, also these bosses, okay. these AI cores are like... A joke. You'd think that his his shots at least would penetrate. You would. I'm glad they don't, but... Yeah. But let's not jump into the shot. Because it's clear that what they intend you to do is to jump over both of these and then go onto that uh, moving platform at the front. And keep uh, keep shooting them from there. Yeah. Ooh. I learned. <laughs> Nicely done. Ah, the wind up on the jump stinks when you've got falling platforms. <laughs> yeah. So what you're saying is. Uh, what we're about to experience is color palette world. Pretty much. In, in 1697, they invented ice. Just. <laughs> At least it's not an ice world. It just happens to be textured that way. Oh, you, so so you can punch Burb, just so you know. Come come here. I I wish to punch you. I wonder what that thing in the middle of the screen is. I don't know, but I, I was wondering that. I was I was hoping that one of the things you had would tell us because it it's just kind of been following us around and it's always dead center. Yeah. So I'm wondering if it's just like part of the UI, if maybe we're like, oh, you're you're viewing it from the uh, from the eyes of Doctor Proteus inside of the inside of Cybersaurus, <laughs> but yay, bomb! I've actually so sadly. Friendship with Bomb over. Beam is new best friend. Because, <laughs> uh, it turns out that, yes, the, the most things can't uh, take more than one hit from the beam, but it does hit multiple times as it travels through their sprite. Hey, there, have a little more room so you can turn around and come back. Hey, come back! Come back, so I can kill you. Dude, dude, dude! He just drained my entire energy barrier by the uh, because I couldn't 
<laughs> oh, it's a good thing this is not actually an ice level, because that would have sucked. Yeah. Never mind, it's an ice level! Oh, did it knock you back into the pit? Yeah, it slid back. That's some bullshit. Eat Fist of Justice! And please, give me a weapon. You suck. Give me a weapon. Give you a weapon. Your fist! Oh my god! <laughs> That's like it, it... hurried you. That's some bullshit. Bye! Damn it! Now it's now now it's the game just the the developers of this game uh were this is clearly the the level where they started running out of time and budget so they're just like yeah just throw pits Jeez. not today thingy not oh, today God. stegosaurus no stego one you may be Danny's favorite but you're not mine get off my screen get off my screen That oh, he, everything he keeps jumping into pits <laughs> so I can't get power-ups is infuriating. Bye. <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna be fighting the boss with my with my fisticuffs. You might be. Yeah, I'm <laughs> What what are you? Oh, oh! It's a sword it's something new, Patrick. It's a Bronto. Oh my gosh. And because this is from 1989, we know that it's a Bronto. Yes. Kick your ass! That was the only... That was the only uh, long-necked dinosaur design allowed by science. So if I, if I, I, I hit really this... Like this design, it, it if looks, I hit this fast enough, I actually uh, end up punching him into invincibility frames, and he can't damage me in his invincibility frames. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, keep up the button mashing. Yeah! I, I did it! <laughs> T-Rex superior to Bronto. <laughs> like, that that grin, that stupid toothy grin, it seems completely superfluous. Uh, buy energy thing that I didn't actually need. Oh, like but it seems completely superfluous the rest of his design. Like, and not even a in a, oh, you forgot to stop designing this kind of way. Just in a Oh, that's just kind of... What does that even do? Right. It also... He kind of already has a lower jaw. Yeah. So I don't know why he has that second one. Ah, but Patrick, you've heard of lower jaw. But what about second jaw? This is his middle jaw. Uh... You're kidding me. What? We, we, we just had a... We finally got a gun upgrade to drop for Dr. Proteus. And it fell into the pit. Naturally. And then the, you did too. I, well, I had to it. go after it. They're so rare. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't give up the opportunity to have a gun upgrade. Unfortunately, it cost me my life. So the uh, the thing we have to remember is that uh, I think it's the second enemy we kill on the next screen drops a, a gun upgrade. So it needs to be killed over a, a, a not a platform of deception. Are they just expecting me to take a lot more damage than I do? Because every death I've had thus far has been... Uh... Okay, so the next one I kill has been a... Um due to a pit. Yeah, the, the environment seems to be more dangerous than any of these robo-dinosaurs. Uh, or whatever the hell these things are. I don't think these are dinosaurs. Bye! Oh, I, I did make oh, it. God. So maybe the power-ups are tied to specific enemies and not to specific kill counts? Quite possible. I th yeah, I, I think these are hard-coded in. To, to just give you okay. You kill this guy, he has the power up in him. If you are eligible for power up, this guy has it. If you are not eligible for power up, too bad. You don't get a power up. This is a long one. 
Yeah, because this is what, the fourth screen? No, wow! No, I'm sorry. I thought you meant, uh, eight. Yeah, I, I meant, like, actual, like, distinct screen in this level.